A big thank you to InstaWP for sponsoring this video. InstaWP is a great way to create, test and deploy WordPress websites in just one click. Ten days ago I was incredibly sceptical around all the buzz surrounding no-code development tools. But I couldn't have been more wrong. In just 10 days, I've built 10 amazingly cool apps. In this video, I'm going to walk you through the cool apps that I built. I'm going to show you exactly how I built them. And at the end, I'm going to give you five essential steps so you can start building your own apps like a pro. Let's dive in. The first app that I built is a photo journal app for WordPress. Just select the app on my phone. Now, once this screen loads, click select photos, choose your photo. Click done. Now give your photo a name and click publish. And with an instant, your photo will be published to your WordPress website. In my case, I've got them to appear in my photo journal page. And now every day I publish a photo to my journal. This app lets me manage content from multiple websites. You can see on the screen on the left, I've got two sites, Tomorrow Times and Poodle Press. I can click on those and it'll load the content, the posts and the pages of each of those sites and then I can click on the little pencil icon to edit them. This is a fun app that I've built called Guess the Font where players have to guess the font up on the screen and they get scored out of 10. At the end of the game they share their scores on X. I've always wanted a friction-free way to write posts for WordPress and so I built Poodle Writer. You don't have to log in, it's incredibly fast. It supports Markdown, it has a one-click button to publish to WordPress and it also has an offline mode. And you can try it yourself, just go to poodlewriter.com and it's completely free to use. Next I thought I'd have a go at building a business directory and in just 30 minutes this is what I came up with. It has fully search integrated. It lets me in the admin add my own listings and it's lightning fast. This was a fun one. I wanted a way that I could create a website and manage that website of the best YouTube thumbnails that I found on the internet but I also wanted to tag them with curiosity, fear, or hope. And you can see the design that the AI came up with. Again, this one took only 30 minutes to make. I wanted to take my newsletter signup page to the next level, so I got Bolt to design me a beautiful new landing page. And then I got the AI to talk me through how I link it to Omnisend, which is my marketing automation software. This app is one of the coolest things I built. It lets me dynamically inject sales messages anywhere within a website from the app. You can see here, I'm creating the sales message in the app and I tell it where to appear after how many blocks in the page and what post it needs to appear on and dynamically like that, it appears. I wanted a place where I could create and manage and edit the YouTube scripts as I work on them. So I built ScriptTube a specialist app just for me, where I can add all the YouTube scripts as I work on them, I can edit them and I can also see exactly what I'm working on. It took about half an hour. This is an app I built called The Book Writer and it intends to be the perfect place to write your book. It features light dark mode, focus free mode, you can see over on the left that you can add your chapters and write your content. It gives you a word count up above that. And you can also drag and drop the chapters on the left or delete them. To get started, just go to the Bolt website and this is what you'll see. In the middle here, you'll have a box where you just type your prompt. So I'm gonna say, build an app where players have to guess who wrote the famous book. Give players four possible authors for each question. There are 10 questions per game. And then I'm just gonna click on this blue arrow here. And now Bolt will go off and do its thing. You'll see all your code here and here. And in this tab here, you can see a preview, which will be blank at the moment because it's still building. Now we can see the preview of our little app and you can see there's a question. Let's give it an answer. 
and you can see it's working nicely. But I might want to add some confetti when somebody gets one correct, in which case I would just reprompt down here. Once you're happy with your app, you'll see in the top right, there's just a deploy button. Let's click on that. Now it's going to deploy it to Netlify. You'll see a message down here saying it's been successful. Let's click on that. And there's my working app on the internet. Now it's got a temporary domain name. Now all I need to do is add that domain name within Netlify. Now just log it into Netlify and find your app. Here's the one I've just built. Click on that. Look over on the left and you'll see domain management. Click on that and you'll see this option here, add a domain. Let's click on that. We can either buy a new one or add one I already own. If I click buy a new one, then I can search for it and I can buy it all within here. So using Bolt AI is really simple. You just go to the Bolt website and start typing it. It'll do all the coding for you and some other cool stuff as well. But here are my five top tips to get you up and running in no time at all. Number one, start small. So for your first app, just build something really, really simple, a bit like the Guess My Font game that I built. Just get something up and running and it'll prove the miracle that this is to you. Number two, chunk your instructions. So don't give it a long essay of instructions. Keep them really short and simple and then iterate on as you go. Number three, learn about APIs. APIs essentially are ways that you can go and get data from other websites or other applications. For example, if you wanted to build a weather app, you can go and get the weather information from a free weather API. Or if you wanted to pull information from a WordPress website, WordPress has its own API. So you can display content from that app, from the WordPress website in your app, which is really cool. So learn about APIs. They're pretty straight, straightforward. Number four, at the end of your app building, ask the app to check for security and accessibility. Don't miss those two steps out because it won't always do it, but it's really good at it. And number five, think about data storage. So I've got another whiteboard for you here. When you're creating your app, there are three options for you in terms of storage. So your app might not need any storage. So my guess the font game, it doesn't need to store any information at all. You just play the game and you publish the results to Twitter. Number two is local storage. So you can actually, in your app, you can ask the app to store the data locally within the person's browser. So for my, some of my apps, I've done that. So Poodle Writer, for example, it actually stores the data on the person's PC, which is really cool. It has some advantages. Or number three, you can actually store the um, data in a database and Bolt has a nice integration to a database called Superbase. And then my final piece of advice, and I think it's probably the most important piece of advice, is that when you're working with a tool like Bolt AI, be prepared to go off down creative tangents. One of the surprising things that happens is it comes back with stuff you didn't expect and they're often better than what you were thinking. So be open to that experience. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found that useful and that it inspires you to go off and build your own apps. And if you are building your own apps, drop them in the comments below. I'd love to see what you're up to. If you enjoyed this video as well, if you can hit the like button, it'd be amazing because it makes a huge, 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 huge difference in terms of how many people actually get to see this video. So thank you if you can hit that like button. And also every time you do hit the like button, our cats get a little treat. If you want to see more videos like this, hit the subscribe button and you'll be notified every time I release a new one. Thank you so much for watching. Keep well and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.